The traditional Christian view of demons is that they are disembodied spirits that afflict or possess people. The activity of demons, however, transcends this. Demons can also inhabit buildings, land or space. Ignorance in this area has led to the uncontrolled activity of these demons. This book, by a Kakrabadi titled Squatters, will expose you to this truth and give you practical steps you can take to overcome such demons. Get your copy now. You could be living with your enemy. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Squatters at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Morning Star Cathedral, Lighthouse Chapel International, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome. Kakra continues his exciting teaching titled Step Into Your Future, gleaned from Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, sharing keys we need to step into our future. Yesterday, he explained that to step into the future, we need comprehensive strength. Today, he shares two reasons why you must be strong temptations and weariness. Come along. Number two, why must you be strong? Because of the enemies that will come. You see, every part of your body has its own enemy. Number one, let's take the spirit. What is the enemy of the spirit? Temptation is one of the enemies. If your spirit man is not strong, you yield to temptations easily. That's why Jesus said in Matthew 26 verse 40, watch and pray that you enter in, not into temptation. Yesterday, somebody brought somebody to my house. A 17-year-old girl. The girl was pregnant. Temptation can drill your future. Look for one says about Jesus. Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Being 40 days tempted of the devil. In those days, he did eat nothing. When they were ended, he afterward hungered. The thing that the devil will offer you is something you need. He said, if thou be the son of God, command this stone that it be made bread. Jesus was walking into his future as a man of God. Suddenly the devil appeared and said, these are the temptations. But the Bible says at that time, he was fasting, he was praying, he was very strong. Then he said in verse 4, man shall not live by bread alone. There comes a point in your Christian life where you will need something and the devil will offer an alternative. Either you take that alternative or you believe God's word and say no and say trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. <laughs> to marry the right person that God has for you, you will face a lot of temptations. The right job you face a lot of temptations. Let's talk about your soul. I said your soul is made up, number one, your mind. One of the things that attacks the mind is discouragement or hopelessness. In Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1, the Bible says, Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed or surrounded about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every way and the sin which does so is be beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is now set at the right hand of God. Next verse is, consider him that endured such contradiction or op opposition of sinners against himself, lest you be wearied and faint in your mind. Discouragement. He said, the thing that afflicts the mind is weariness. You know, when I say walk into your future, you'll face problems. If you are not mentally strong, 
you will lose hope. Isaiah 42 verse 4 says about Jesus, He shall not fail nor be discouraged. The reason why he will not fail is not because he had A in maths, but he will not fail because he's not easily discouraged. As a pastor, when I started pastoring, sometimes when I go to church, only five people have showed up. I was not discouraged. I continue, continued, and now look, you are here tonight. I was working towards my future. And I know that all the, I knew all that was seeing seven people. Still, I must not be one. It's coming. Push your neighbor, say my neighbor. I refuse to be discouraged. The righteous man will fall, but I shall rise again. Somebody broke my heart, but I shall rise again. I tried to lose weight. Rather, I gained five kilos, but I shall rise Hope. 1 Peter 1 13 says, be sober. Hope to the end. Not to the middle. To the end. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that to step into our own future, we need to be strong because it helps us to overcome temptations and weariness. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. The good news came through. Hello, Prophet. I emailed you about a job application. You replied that you had prayed for me and said I will hear good news. To the glory of God, I received a call and it was indeed good news as you said. I got the job. God bless you. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 790 10. Send an email to info at You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 207 575 215. Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony, and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.